For these 20 days of fasting, it's a preparation for the last 10 days. These first 20 nights is a preparation for the last 10 nights. Allah has given us Laylatul Qadr and is coming. So Allah is preparing us. Subhanallah Allah is preparing us. For what? He's preparing us to try and make sure that on the night of Qadr we are awake, we are making Allah's ibadah, and we've spiritually pumped ourselves up for 20 nights. I'm ready on that night of Qadr to get the best out of my Laylatul Qadr. Because the Sahaba radiallahu anhu and they complained to the Messenger of Allah. They said, Messenger of Allah, they said, the people before us, they had really long lives. Some of them lived up to 300 years. Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam, according to Quran, lived 950 years. 950 years. So they said, how are we supposed to compete with 60 to 70 years of, of a life? So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who then got the order of Laylatul Qadr. One of these nights, the last ten nights, is going to be Laylatul Qadr. And that night of Qadr is worth more than 83 years and four months of anyone's life. 83 years and four months. Khayrun min al A thousand months if you count it, it's 83 years and four months. Now imagine, I, I normally give this example, imagine. You come to this masjid, and I, I give you, I, I make you like stand in a massive circle, right? All of you standing in a massive circle. In the middle, I put it there. You can see a heap of one pound coins, one pound and two pound coins. Yep, they're in the right, in the middle of the masjid, and there's a massive hill of one pound and two pound coins. And each one of you, I give put a spade into your hand. So here's a spade in your hand, here's a spade in your hand, here's a spade in your hand. Right. When I say get ready, you're going to go with that spade up to that heap and you're going to take whatever you can for only 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I say whatever you took back to your spot, that's yours. Now tell me which one of us would stop and say in the 30 minutes, I'll do quick one minute, two minutes and then after that I'll take a rest. Which one of us, when you got a chance to take as many coins as you want with your spade, which one of us will rest during that period? None of us will rest. Guys, anyone put their hands up, you're going to rest and you're going to say, no, I don't need that money. <laughs> mashallah, mashallah. Everybody, me, including me, I come from my hand. I'll, I'll, I'll go in there as well. So Allah Azza wa has said, your whole year has gone by. And when I say ready and Ramadan comes in, these 30 days and nights of giving you everything I multiply by 70. I multiply by 70. Guys, say Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Now, in outside Ramadan, for Subhanallah, you get one tree in Jannah. And that tree is so vast that the fastest horseman can try and go to cross the shadow. It will take him 500 years to cross the shadow, according to one narration. And you said that in Ramadan, Allah has given you 70 of those trees just by saying Subhanallah once. What do you say? What do you say? That's, mashallah, 210 trees already. In your plot of Jannah, you've got 210 trees. Say Subhanallah. 280 trees. Say Subhanallah. 350 trees, mashallah. Five Subhanallah. And it's 350 trees outside Ramadan. Subhanallah, 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 subhanallah. I only get five trees. In Ramadan, subhanallah, 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 subhanallah. That's 350 trees in Jannah. Outside Ramadan, just say this. Alif la. Say that. Outside Ramadan, all of you get 30 rewards. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us. 10 for Alif, 10 for Lam, 10 for me. But when we say that inside Ramadan, Allah Azza wa Jal has made these 30 rewards into what? How much? 210 rewards. 30 times 70. Yep, 30 times 70. 210 rewards. So, sorry, what was it? 2000, sorry. 2000. Yes, that's right. 2100. Thank you, Zabullah Hai. Thank you, Mamat Sizan. I'm going to be hungry. 2100, Zabullah Hai. 
Now imagine, Alif Lam Mim is 2,100. Dhalika will be another 2,100. Outside Ramadan, you get 60 rewards by the time you reach Dhalika. Inside Ramadan, you've gone to 4,200 rewards. From Alif Lam Mim to Dhalika. What is that? That's nothing. Now you tell me, brothers, when you know this and you start calculating in your head, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll tell you one thing to do, yeah? Try and get a calculator or a computer and start to compute just Surah Fatiha. Just Surah Fatiha, you see it will, it will go off the mark of the calculator. You won't be able to keep the space inside of how much reward Allah Azza wa has given us. Subhanallah, or for the beginning of Surah Baqarah. Now imagine the whole Quran. None of us will live to ever read 70 Qurans in one year. Who's ever done 70 Qurans in one year? Put your hands up. None of us. Allah says, every year I give you 70 Qur'ans by completing one Qur'an in Ramadan, you get the reward of 70 Qur'ans outside Ramadan. 70 Qur'ans, my brothers. Subhanallah Azim, and when Laylatul Qadr comes, it is lottery time. It's the biggest bonus you can get. Allah Azza wa Jal is giving us whatever you do on that night, Allah times it by Eight, as if you did that same act for 83 years and four months of your life. I'm going to tell you, uh, just to wrap up the whole of the talk. Allah Azza wa Jal is doing all this for, for, to us. Why? Because He wants our dhikr of everything else to turn into the dhikr of Allah. And all of these things He's told us. Why? Allah Azza wa, Jal, Allah Azza wa Jal wants to change our life, our mind, our heart, our bodies. He wants to change all of that. On the last 10 nights, brothers, just do this for me. Every night, put, you know the last 10 nights are going to come. In another 10 nights time, you're going to get the last 10 nights. I'm going to tell you what to do. I want you to make yourself a package you're going to do every single night for the last 10 nights. Please don't miss out on this, brothers. Because this package, if you can repeat it for 10 nights or 9 nights, according to whether Ramadan is 29 nights this year, or whether Ramadan is 30 nights, you are guaranteed Laylatul Qadr for these actions. I want you to make sure that your package is at least some portion of the Qur'an. If you do one juz of the Qur'an in a night of Laylatul Qadr, one juz, that's equivalent to you know how many juz? It's like reading one juz for every night of your life for 83 years and four months. You know what that is? That's 12... <coughs> Khatams, 12 completion of the year for every year of your life. You know, you need one juz on Laylatul Qadr for every year, for 83. Can someone do the calculation right now? 83 times 12 on your, on your phone. Someone while I'm still talking, take your phone out. 83 times 12. Just do that calculation. 996. If you do one juz Every night of the last 10 nights of Ramadan, you have completed 996 khatams of the Quran. Why? Because that juice is multiplied by every night, which will mean that every month you finish one, one, one uh, khatam, right? It will mean, mean or maybe that's actually, it's actually more than that, you know, because it's actually a khayrun min al fishar and it's got 70 on top as well. Allahu alam, I don't know how many is that, but it's more than 1,000 khatams of your life. So that's one thing. Another thing is, just put a few subhanallahs. One good one I want you to put together is, and I want you to learn this, and I want you to say this in Ramadan. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a sahih hadith Muslim. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he, he, he saw one of his wives after Fajr, so she was sitting down, and she was remembering Allah. So he went, he went away, Rasulullah sallallahu went away, he did his actions for the day and he came back by the whole time. And he saw his same wife, I think it was Juwayri or some other wife. She was sitting there, the same wife, sitting there from Fajr to Dhuhr. And Prophet Sallallahu said, why are you sitting here? She said, I'm remembering Allah Azza wa Jal. He said, have you remembered Allah since Fajr to Dhuhr? She said, yes. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi then said, I have said three phrases. I said one phrase, one complete phrase, three times over. And I have got the same. I've got the same reward as you sitting from Fajr to Dhuhr. What's that? Subhanallah, wa bihamdi, adad khalqi, 
ورضا نفسه وزنة عرشه ومداد كلماته سبحان الله وبحمده All praise, uh, Allah SWT is, is free from all blame and in his praise. Adad al-Khalqihi. I say SubhanAllah and I praise him how much? I praise him to, to the count of his creation. The number of his creation is out there. That's how many times I say Alhamdulillah to Allah. That's how many times I say SubhanAllah to Allah. Adad al-Khalqihi. Warida nafsihi. I say Alhamdulillah and SubhanAllah till Allah is pleased with me saying this till he's content I say alhamdulillah subhanallah to the equivalent of the weight of Allah's arsh his throne I say subhanallah alhamdulillah to the extent of if you were to take every tree of this world every ocean of this world you turn the ocean into ink you turn the trees into pens and you start to write Allah's praise the ink will dry, the pen will finish, but Allah Azza wa Jal, His praise will never finish. That much extent, I say, Subhanallah, I say, Alhamdulillah.